Hey everyone! Thanks so much for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today's video request is, can I control stickers duration on Canva? So, can you actually do that? Well, yes, you can. You can't find, however, any option or settings to directly control the duration of stickers, but you can find a way around it. And here's how you can do it with this simple trick. So first, you're going to have to insert your video onto your design page. So go to the upload section and select your videos from here. Um, if you haven't uploaded your video to Canva yet, then you're going to have to upload them first. So click on upload files and then select the video files that you want to upload. In my case, I'm going to use or upload these so i'm going to click on open and my videos will be uploaded right over here under the videos category as you can see our videos are still loading up but we can actually already add them to our page so i'm gonna um, right click on my video here and click on set video as background from the drop down so that it'll fill my entire canvas and the next thing we need to do is to pull up our timeline. So I'm going to click on this button here. It's called the Show Pages button. And there we go. I actually like to just call this my timeline. Anyway, we're going to be adding our stickers onto our video now. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Elements section. And I'm going to type here whatever kind of sticker I'd like to put onto my video. So pop, for example, and go to graphics because we're going to find stickers under this category. And as you can see, most of the elements that show up here are graphic elements and not animated ones. So to filter these out, we are going to click on the filter button on the search bar. We're going to scroll down and tick the checkbox for animated. And doing that will load up all of the animated graphic elements uh, that matches that match your keyword. So let's go ahead and look for um, elements that we can use. How about this one? I think this is actually nice, but maybe too much. Let's try to find another one. And I'd like to select a white sticker, white animated sticker, so that it it's easily visible in our dark background. So what about this one? I'm just going to do that. Make sure that we align it properly. Okay. All right. The next thing we need to do is to click on the duration button below. So doing that will um, make your entire video visible. Kind of like um, a timeline. Something like that. And if you play your video, you can see that um, your sticker plays all throughout the duration of your video. But hold on, I'd like to zoom it in first because we can't really see um, our video moving. So as you can see, it's pouring. I'm just going to reposition our elements. Okay, much better. All right, the next thing we need to do is to play our video. So let's click this play button. And then you have to pause by using your space bar to wherever you'd like your sticker to stop. So I'm going to pause over here because say for example, this is where I'd like my sticker to be cut. So I'm gonna click on this three dot, oops, I'm going to click, okay, I'm going to do that again. Okay, I'm going to click on this three dot button here now, and I'm going to select split page from the drop down, or you can easily just press the um, S key on your keyboard. So doing that will 
split our video into two separate pages. Now we can then move on to the um, page where we'd like to remove our element and then remove it from there so that when you play it from the first page onwards, okay, as you can see, the um, sticker already stopped because we've split our page into two and our element only plays on the first page but not on the second page while our video continues. And so basically, that's how you adjust your sticker's duration in Canva. You can go ahead and add pages, actually, if you like to. And if you like to add um, animated effects to your animation or animated graphic elements, you can also do that. So go to Animate here and then click on um, your chosen your chosen animated effect. But it's not really going to show up since our element graphic or sticker element plays too fast. So I'm just going to remove the animation. And in case your video is moving, by the way, um, let's add another sticker here. But maybe we should choose a different video now. So let's go back to uploads and click this one. I'm going to set video as background and perhaps I'll split this over here. S, delete this one and add a transition in between by clicking the transitions button. And for the, tra oh, I think I actually like this one. Let's choose dissolve, slide, circle wipe, color wipe, line wipe, beta move. Low, stack, and chop. I think match and move looks nice. And okay. Um, anyway, we're going to be adding an animated element to this video here. So let's go ahead and try to do that. What about heart? Go to graphics and um, let's filter our search to animated elements only. And let's select um, a nice heart over here. So say, for example, this one. Um, let's play our video. Okay, so we can actually, if you want to, you can actually move this around. So you can click on this and go to animate, go to create an animation. And you can actually create an animated path. Just like that. I'm going to delete the path and I'm going to try again. I'm going to do something like that. And there you go. Let's try to play it. And as you can see, we've animated a path. Let's click on it and go to um, custom. So you actually have different movement styles here that you can choose from. You've got original, which is the original path that you've created and you've got smooth. So choosing this will smooth out your path so it won't be fuzzy or jaggy or something like that. And then you've got steady. Um, I think I prefer smooth in this case. And apart from that, you can actually also adjust the speed of your animated element. So you can make it go slower by dragging this slider to the left. So the further you go to the left, the slower your animated element will be. And the more you go to the right, the faster your element will play. Let's try that. I think it's too fast, so let's try it again. Like that. And you've also got some motion effects such as rotate. And then you've also got flicker, but let's play it. Let's have rotate. You've got flicker. We got pulse. 
I think plus goes well with this one. And then you've got wiggle. I think in my case, I'd like to have pulse. Oops. Remove animation, remove animation, remove animation, just leave pulse out. So once you're done, you can click on done. And then let's try to play our video now. And now all there's left for you to do is to add your audio file. So to do that, go to the upload section and go to the audio category. You'll find your music there or your audio files there. If you haven't uploaded yet, uh, if you haven't uploaded your files yet, then click on upload files. And then once your file has been uploaded, you can finally um, drag it onto your design so that an audio track will be added here below. And in case you want to make changes to your audio file, you can click on the three dot button here and you'll find several tools you might find handy. You've got adjust audio effects for audio effects. They only have fade in and fade out for um, at the moment. You've got beat sync, which automatically times your elements according to the beat of your music. Um, unfortunately, this is, I think, only available for pro users. You've got volume, which I'd like to do, like to adjust my volume. Then you've got duplicate track and delete track. So we're now going to try to play our video. Okay, um, I think it's almost done, but I guess I'd like to um, cut our sticker here. So I'm going to place my cursor here, S, and then I'm going to delete the um, element over here so that it stops playing. Okay, I think that should be it. And once you're done... You can save your video or share it directly from Canva to your uh, selected social media platforms. So go to share, click share on social and select your platform. Select the platform of your choice from here. Or you can download it by going to download. Select mp4 as your file type and then tweak these download settings over here according to your preferences and click on download and that's it for today we hope you found today's video of help somehow and if you did please give this video a thumbs up to help us grow and consider subscribing for more canva tutorial videos anyway thank you so much for watching we really hope to see you in the next video and do you have a great day?